Hello everyone. I know you are looking for to slay the spire today, but I got something pretty darn similar for you that you might not know about called Neoverse. And this game is similar, but very different from Slay the Spire. And in fact, some would argue, including possibly myself, it might even be better than Slay the Spire. Why? Because you do have the same you do have three characters, and they all have their different little presets that you come highlighting here on video for you. Uh, not audio, but anyway, um, which brings a lot of customization to the table. It'd be like if you could start a ironclad run with specialization in, uh, I don't know, uh, you know, strikes or uh, po uh, poison for silent. Yeah, anyway. The, among other things, besides the character customization, which is pretty darn varied in this, I've only played for about two hours so far. But so far, it seems very good. Um, beyond that, there are different mechanics in this that are far different than Slay the Spire. For example, if you kill an enemy with, if you, if say, for example, it has 10 health left. Why am I using that example? Oh, for no real particular reason. You'll see just why. Um, if you, for example, if the enemy has 10 left and you hit it with something that does 10, you get precision points. Precision points give you skill points, which we'll get into a little while later. The other thing is combos, which usually in this case would give you two times damage on your next attack. There's parrying, which means if you uh, defend just the right amount. For example, if an enemy is hitting you for 20 and you put up 20 block, you will stun the enemy for the next turn. A neat little concept, if I do say so myself. Of course, if you kill thing, if you win, you get your choice of your cards. You don't have to take any, uh, but you do most of the time. You do get rewards, money, skill, usually an item, not always an item, but usually money and skills, depending on the severity. That was a boss fight, so I got five. And this is your map selection, though not really map, but you get it. You do get to choose, and you might notice before, all those missions had little side missions under them, and you get rewards for that. Those are kind of a big deal. You want to try and get those as often as you can, because those are extra little bonuses. Now, skills are kind of your relics of sorts. Uh, that's where the game is a little bit less varied than Slay the Spire. I don't think there's as many, though each character does have a different set of skills, so maybe they do. But yeah, also, stores are kind of universal. You can go to them anytime you're not in a battle and buy pretty much whatever you want, but of course, things do sell out and you have to renew them with money, so there's still a little bit of, should I get one now? Should I renew it then? And a little bit of strategy. You can buy skill points there, which is usually what I end up doing because I'm a newbie. And skills, here we go. These are your little relics of sorts. Uh, as you, one of them, I remember, if you see the one by the green plus, that's uh, saving your mana till the next turn, which is essentially ice cream, which is really freaking good. Uh, it costs three skill points, which is not all that hard to get. But with all the other different things on there, you kind of got to think, what do I really want? I know this is really good, but I might want that instead. You know, that's basically like a mana absorption is kind of like a goblin ho gremlin horn, except better when you evolve it. <laughs> Evolving's like upgrading if you hadn't put together yet. So there's a lot of different customization options you can do! And... Yeah, you... Like I said, these are the little missions that I accomplished before, and they allow me to upgrade a card, or evolve a card in this case. So, you do have a pretty good... Uh, control over how well you do, because if you don't complete the missions, you don't complete the submissions, you don't get to evolve very many cards, and if you don't evolve very many cards, well... It's gonna be hard. Ironically, the best run I ever had was my very first run, which was this run. Everyone else, every other one following, I've usually not even got to the final boss. But that's gonna be it for today, everyone. Hopefully, I will see you all next time. Later.